Oh my God. Where are you going? Home. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you are not. Yes, if I you, am. If you want to end a very pleasant 22-year marriage, just go along. Until Lois comes, I am sitting here. Ow! Well? Then I am sitting here. Then I'll stand. You know, the furniture was supposed to be falling apart for the movie, remember? But where did all the actors sit in between takes? Trailers, portable dressing rooms, <laughs> canvas directors. How do I know? What's left here is a house and gardens disaster. Well, that was the storyline. Well, this whole thing is a joke. Lois has left us here. This is like a snipe hunt. Well, she said it was our anniversary surprise. Then why aren't we at the Hilton? Isn't this more intriguing? Intriguing, yes. Comfortable, no. Hey, your favorite leading man sat in that chair. He did, didn't he? It is rather nice to be able to see where the movie was shot. I thought you wanted to go home. You remember that scene where that pretty blonde was sitting up there, the storm was raging? The lights flickered. And, and the body came tumbling in through the French windows and she screamed. I screamed. It was a great movie. You even renting it last night didn't quite prepare me for this. Murder is a game. Good title. Good Think film. They built this big old house up here on a hill for one movie and then abandoned. Toby, where is it? Where's what? The panel. The secret panel. Oh, it was over there somewhere. No, I think it was over there, but it opened up from down here. Maybe they did it from off camera. Here it is. Voila. Any dead bodies? No, but there's a decent chair with a piece of paper on it. I bet Probably it's... a note from Lois saying surprise. No, I bet it's our royalty check. It's a page of dialogue for Murders Again. What does it say? Because I won't tell you one if you put down that sharp dagger. Oh, what great dialogue. <laughs> well, it reminds me of your writing when I first met you. Now, you were no Agatha Christie. <laughs> well, but together. The first mystery book to have to hit the bestseller list for 23 straight weeks. 24, but who's counting? Toby, this fireplace is crumbling under me. Be careful. It's paper. What is? This fireplace is paper. Feel it. Oh, my, I'm disillusioned. Paper You're right. I, I usually am. What the hell did they spend that $30 million budget on? Salaries. Oh, this is much better, dear. Thank you. Anytime. Do you think the movie author got a percentage of the gross? Only after he sued. We should have written movie scripts. We did very well with books. But where are we now? In a crumbling mansion. Where are we financially? Oh, don't ask. I just did. Well, let's just say we better get a plot and get to our word process. Hmm. Do you think we're the only authors with double writer's block? That's it. Lois is our publisher, and she thought getting us in this setting would get our creative juices flowing again. You mean we're abandoned here? Oh, no. Coming up the hill, I saw her overpriced Jaguar in my rearview mirror. Well, then where the devil is she? Where the devil she is? Huh, Jaguar couldn't make the hill? I made it in high, and then I parked around back so I can make a quick exit. Here. Hey, it's already chilled. Let's open it now. I never drink from the bottle. Oh, you remember on that hovercraft from Dover? Well, it's better than Dramamine from Aldermare. Oh, <laughs> uh, there must be some glasses in this mausoleum. Didn't they have a wrap party after shooting? Toby, to the right is the kitchen. You can find glasses in there. Yeah, and probably a passed out character after. <laughs> Lois, you said, so back there's a kitchen, and is that everything we're going to need? Does that mean we're to stay here? Correct. What kind of an anniversary prison is this? Unusual. Unusual. <laughs> Ow, this is a cheap.
chair, isn't it? I can't wait to try the beds. I admit the furniture's a little sparse and a little bit torturous, but Toby found that chair. It's not bad. Hey, it's incredible back then. Three witches stirring oh, a cauldron. It's all clean and neat and polished and there's plates and glasses of every size and shape. But I glance in the fridge, it's full of delectables. Then it's true. We are going to stay here. You bought this place for us. Just wait and see. We thought we would go from here to some resort. We even brought evening clothes. Why this? Why don't you just rent us a plot as far as long? Lois, you have been our friend, good friend, and publisher. This isn't going to end now, is it? Must we take you off of our Christmas card list? I think we need these. Oh, desperately. Happy anniversary, Doc. And to you. And to the both of you. Here you are. Never in the history of publishing has there ever been such a gift. The Pulitzer. I knew it. Um, I think you might want to write another book before you win any prizes. Ooh, ouch. What is it? It's just what you need. I'm going to open it. I can't wait. It's, uh, hold on. Be first. Another toast to my two, uh, to my two laziest but most favorite authors. Tone and Slovy Bigelow. And to our favorite and only publisher. Okay. Open the present. It's smaller than a Maserati. It's about the size of a cashier's chip. Oh, Lois. How sweet. It's just what you need. What is it? How sweet. You already said that. I don't know what else to well, say. Well, what the hell is it? Plot? I knew you'd love it. Just what does that mean? It's what you need most, a plot. And once you have that, you can let your flying fingers speed ahead and with your ride when you wave with words. You mean you're absolutely... Hey, don't interrupt. This is intriguing. I have rented this reconditioned mansion for a movie for the weekend. And I've invited some guests up for a weekend of murder. I adore games. Each of the guests have been given a character he or she is to be. They must stay in character all weekend long, assume fights and rivalries until one of them says, I am dead. That's because the appointed murderer will have killed that person. Once they do that, you write it in your own way, and voila, you have a book again. 